Hi everyone, this is going to be a very quick video uh, and it's a video that I wanted to do because um, it's quite important in determining various risk factors for patients. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors and I'll also be providing some examples. So modifiable risk factors and mo non-modifiable risk factors, let's first establish what they are used for. So both of these words are used in many conditions, uh, but usually we see them used in uh, cardiac conditions such as the prevention of a heart attack or the management of um, chronic conditions such as hypertension. So as their name suggests, modifiable risk factors are risk factors for developing certain diseases that a person can change themselves. So. If we have a look at um, some examples, or let's quickly put our definition into a concise wording. So we have modifiable risk factors, and its definition is that um, these risk factors are changes a person can make themselves, so they have control over this change, to alter their um, risk or chance of developing or managing, so you can change these risk factors as you've been diagnosed or after you've been diagnosed. So developing or managing usually a chronic illness or a right chronic illness here. So what are some examples of modifiable risk factors? So the most common ones that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis uh, as clinicians or just simply uh, students reading cases, you'll see that common modifiable risk factors include smoking, because you can decide either to smoke or not, uh, how sedentary your lifestyle is, so physical activity, uh, your diet, other things such as um, maybe you have a particular um, Certain conditions can be modified by risk factors as well, uh, such as hypertension. So maybe to prevent the incidence of a myocardial infarction, you may um, decrease your hypertension and managing conditions such as diabetes mellitus, not uh, allowing for your blood sugar levels to increase to an ex excessive extent. So all of these things are modifiable risk factors. Now let's look on the flip side and talk about non-modifiable risk factors. So as their name suggests, and as you probably guessed, non-modifiable risk factors are changes to one's life, so changes a person cannot make. So they don't have control over them, so they cannot make themselves to alter their risk or chance of developing or managing chronic illness. So what are some examples of non-modifiable risk factors? Well, the most common one is gender or sex. And it's usually uh, quite widely accepted that males are at a higher risk of developing cardiovascular conditions or conditions really relating to the cardiovascular system uh, compared to females. On the other hand, females are more likely to develop autoimmune conditions as opposed to males. So as you can see, 
your sex can determined can determine the, your likelihood of developing a particular condition but your sex is not something that you can change uh, secondly another non-modifiable risk factor is your ethnic background your age uh, any genetic de uh, predisposition um, maybe this might be something that we'll be able to change in the future with gene editing but uh, for now genetic predisposition if you have your um, genetic cards uh, that is normally how it's described if the cards are stacked against you genetically then unfortunately developing the condition is pretty much inevitable uh, and lastly another non-modifiable risk factor is your family history so this can be tightly related to genes uh, but say if your family is living in a particular environment uh, that you don't specifically have any control over then that becomes a uh, genetic or sorry a non-modifiable -mo risk factor so in this quick video we've explored the concepts of modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors modifiable risk factors are changes to one's life that a patient can make and they can control these factors uh, to alter their uh, risk of developing or managing a chronic illness effectively and they include uh, things such as smoking physical activity diet or even conditions that they can uh, manage effectively to prevent other conditions such as hypertension and diabetes mellitus and then we also looked at non-modifiable risk factors which are changes that a person cannot make themselves because they're out of their control and they include their sex their ethnic background their age their genetic predisposition to certain illnesses and their family history so this has been a video on non-modifiable and modifiable risk factors i hope it has all made sense and i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching